something that hits a sensitive spot for me? Should I communicate it or hold it? We don't need to vomit every sensitivity that we have, right? Can it's is listen, why is there not option number three? Let, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this because you guys only think that there are two options. Let's go back over this question. Let's do this again. If my boyfriend does something that hits a sensitive spot for me, should I communicate it or not? Or hold it? That's what you said. Should I communicate it or hold it? So either you communicate it or you repress it. Those are the only two options in your mind. What is missing is option three. Can I deal with my own emotions? Can I work through this in my own head? Not hold it, not suppress it, work through it. So maybe you asked him a question and you didn't like the answer. Should you say, I didn't like the answer? Or should you say, what is the truth in that answer? How am I gonna work through the truth in that answer? How am I gonna reduce my anxiety? If he looks at another girl, and he goes, boobies, because the boobies are out. Shh. What do you, you know, like you can work through that. You can, you can, you can have that moment of insecurity and you can say, okay, what is reality? The reality is, yeah, her boobs were out. It was noticeable. He just remarked on something that was noticeable. The reality is he's loyal and devoted. The reality is he's not going to go chase after her. The reality is he's not interested in a relationship with someone else. The reality is he loves me. The reality is he finds me attractive. The reality is I'm confident. The reality is if he did lead me to go chase after another girl who had her boobs out, I'm going to be okay because the reality is I can find somebody better than a guy who goes chasing after boobs. So option three is can you have a mental conversation that de-escalates your own feelings? You look beautiful in that dress, thank you. Uh, that's a man-child reaction to boobies, then I must be a man-child because I might see a pair of boobies and I might go, boobies, so I'm a man-child. Sometimes it's just, you know, noticeable. And I'm not gonna pretend that he didn't notice. I'm not gonna pretend I didn't notice. Sometimes we might, sometimes we might not. Let's <laughs> see, some people are like, don't be with a man who notices boobs. And some people are like, I notice boobs too. Uh, I needed this. The timing is incredible. Thank you. You're so welcome, my love. How do I get my ex back that I left? He won't talk to me. Um, hi, teacher. Uh, so work on yourself. He's not talking to you. So focus on yourself. What, do, what would you say to him? Like prepare that conversation if he does talk to you. What is your three-part apology? I'm sorry for the behaviors you could have done better. I realized that the emotional outcome it had on him. This is my plan for not doing this again. Greetings from Flanders, Belgium. Hello. Glorious, glorious. Doo -doo. Do, do, do. What do you think about girls dating a mama's boy? I think that's the best way to make yourself miserable. One of the best ways to make yourself miserable. Um, don't come into a relationship to, to be his mom after, you know, he, listen, if, if he's still being babied, he's not a man yet. If he's still being cooked for, if his clothes are still being washed, if he's still being cleaned up after, He's not a man yet. Don't get in a relationship with somebody who's not a man yet. How do I tell my boyfriend I want to hang out more than once a week? Uh, very simply, baby, I've been thinking about how much time we spend together and I'd really like us to spend more time together. I think these nights at this time would be perfect. 
Oh, you finally stopped talking to him and you left him. Freedom bell. Freedom bell. Somebody leveled up. I love it. Good girl. Uh, guys, do follow me on Instagram, by the way. I do a coaching giveaway every single month. The next one is coming up really soon. It's on the 15th. So go follow me on Instagram and go look for that giveaway box and go follow the instructions to take part in the coaching giveaway. Um, I'm so proud of you, my love. That's so amazing. Uh, guys, I do Q&As every day. Who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Where are my newbies at? Uh, was baking Reese Pieces chocolate chip cookies for my man. Love it. Licky dogs. Hello. My boyfriend is borderline alcoholic, but going to AA. Should I stay even though I've put up with a lot? So how about you go to AA meetings and ask that question to the people who are there? This is a resource for you. They have AA meetings for family members. Go do that. And go bring that question there. Uh, or you can come get a coaching session so that I can really do a deep dive into all the particulars, right? Really find out exactly what's going on. Um, and then I can I can help you um, because I have more information. I just can't do a coaching session over a live. Online dating help. Um, you know, listen, if you're a woman, don't have the girls out in that first picture because you're going to get all the guys who are looking for women to hook up with. And so they're gonna flood your inbox. Um, make that first picture you doing something you want to do with the person you want to be with. Then make your bio descriptive, but also make it amusing, no negatives. Um, add some more pictures in there. Again, you doing things that you wanna do with the person that you love um, come the future. Uh, so if you need help writing up your bio, do come get a coaching session because I do that all the time. How much is a coaching session? Depends on the package that you choose. Uh, anybody who wants to get a coaching session, go to my bio, click on the link tree, and there's a coaching box there. Click on that. It takes you to a page. You have to follow the instructions to book yourself in for a session. If you book yourself in without following the instructions, I'm going to delete the. I'm going to delete your booking. It 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 doesn't count. Do you have a book recommendation for someone in a relationship? Yes, my love, fix that shit. This is a book that helps you get to zero conflict in your relationship. How can I ask my partner for intimacy and romance? His love language is physical touch, just no passion. Uh, so what you're going to do is initiate what it is that you want. So get two kisses in every single day, minimum five seconds each. You're going to increase the passion in your relationship by increasing those kiss chemicals. The chemicals in a kiss contain an aphrodisiac, also an amphetamine, also an antidepressant. So get those two kisses in every single day, minimum two kisses, minimum five seconds each. As for romance, set the tone yourself. Like, listen, if he's just not there mentally, he's just not there mentally. So light the candles. You set the romantic tone. I do have audiobooks and podcasts. You can find the links to both in the link tree in my bio. Fix That Shit is now an audiobook, so you can get that in the link tree in my bio. There's also a link to my podcast in the link tree in my bio. Is looking through my man's phone toxic? I feel like it's starting to consume me with negative thoughts. Here's the thing. Um, go ahead and look because this is appeasing your curiosity, right? So go ahead and appease your curiosity. But once you've done that, what you need to say to yourself is, I know what I need to know. My boyfriend goes to MMA training two to three times a day, six times a week. I'm glad he's passionate, but I feel I'm running on his schedule. Yes, you are. Uh, yes, you are. Um, and so listen, my husband is running on my schedule. I run on his schedule because work comes first. Obviously he's training, this is work. If he's going this much, this is work for him. He's probably training to fight, to go win fights, to make money. That's called work. Um, so if this doesn't work for you, if, because you need to come after work, we all need to come after work. I can't prioritize my husband over work 
because then I'm not making an income. He can't prioritize me over work because then he's not making an income. We are not being as successful as we can be. Partners need to understand that they are the icing on your cake. They are an addition to your life. They are something that makes your life better, but they don't come first. If you need to come first in somebody's life, you need to get with somebody who doesn't have a life. But if you're gonna get with somebody ambitious, this is the, this is the thing, is, is you do come after their ambition schedule. I love being with an ambitious man because I'm an ambitious woman. So we really understand each other. We give each other the space to pursue our ambitions. But if you're not ambitious, then being with an ambitious person feels like a mismatch because you have more time on your hands and you want them to spend more time with you. Uh, so I only do bedroom talk stuff on one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. I don't do them on lives. It's not throw away one marshmallow today for two tomorrow. It's sacrifice one marshmallow today for two tomorrow. Uh, should I date a guy who has a girl best friend? I feel like there would be no space for me. Follow your intuition. If, if, he, if they're so into each other that it doesn't seem like he would make time for you, uh, don't do it. Because you're just, you're just going to feel off in that relationship. It's so hard. I love being ambitious and being with someone ambitious, but I feel unfulfilled. What are you doing to fulfill yourself? Like I make the minutes count with my man. I literally make the minutes count. So, you know, make the minutes count. If you need help with that, come get a coaching session. Intuition equals everything. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Sometimes our intuition can be off, which is why we keep picking the wrong partner over and over. Uh, fresh out of relationship, need help building my confidence back up. Get No More Assholes. No More Assholes is the book that really helps you become confident with yourself and confident with the dating process. Uh, guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Love the dress. Thank you. The dress loves you. Who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. Uh, how do you try to be more empathetic with your partner? Ask yourself, how would I feel in the situation that they themselves are facing? <laughs> hone your intuition, yes. Uh, meditation helps hone your intuition. Boyfriend is about to start therapy, but something bad happened. He was... Well, that's weird. Uh, dump the motherfucker. I do. Okay, my loves. Those of you who want a notification when I go live, see my little picture up here. Click that little motherfucker once or twice. You're going to get a pop-up. In the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell. When you do that, say, I just did. Hey, from Nova Scotia. How to stop being over empathetic with your partner. My mantra for that is fuck you. When I find myself too plugged into their emotional ups and downs, the way that I detach from their emotional roller coaster is to realize that that's what I'm doing, right? I'm writing their ride, I'm not writing mine. So then I go, okay, wait a second, fuck you. And it's just, it's a very gentle, fuck you, right? It's not like I'm angry, it's not like I hate you, it's not like I want you out of my life. It's just like, whoa, wait a second, fuck you. What do I want? And then I refocus in on myself. Love the mantra, yes. I just did my just dance, my loves. Those of you who want a notification when I go live, make sure when you get a minute, you go into your TikTok settings and turn on your notifications. Also, make sure you go into your phone settings and go to notifications for TikTok and turn that on too. I was having a rough day and this helped, that's good. Emotional self-regulation, yes. It's also called taking responsibility for your own emotions. My boyfriend can't get over my past relationships uh, in terms of body count, so this is what you're gonna say to him. This conversation is over. You need to take responsibility for the thoughts in your head. You need to take responsibility for the emotions that happen as a result of the thoughts in your head. Yeah, but you're the one who, no, 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 no. I'm living in the moment. I'm here with you right now in the moment. If you insist on being in the past, 
this isn't going to work because we're going to be in two different places. If you can't be in the moment with me and be happy, this is not the relationship for me because I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who lives in the past. I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't manage their thoughts and emotions. I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who vomits their emotions on me because they're not dealing with themselves. You need to do something to help yourself get through this. If you can't do that without vomiting on me, this is not going to work because I will not be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't control their emotions and vomits on me. And boyfriend dumped me today, so taken back. What can I do to cope? I have a book for you. It's called Come Back Queen. This is a book that's going to help you get over a breakup, my love. I saw somebody early on, I saw something about a boyfriend who didn't like it when you hang out with your friends, something like that. Do not be with somebody who tries to control you. Thank you, my love. Uh, share the lie. Thank you, Jess. Do not be with somebody who tries to control you. That is not okay. You need to exit this relationship and get with somebody who is confident and not controlling. He tries to control you either because he's just controlling or because he's insecure and he's trying to fit you into his little box so he feels better and more secure. That's not okay. Don't be in a relationship with somebody who lacks confidence. Don't be in a relationship with somebody who's insecure. Don't be in a relationship with somebody who's controlling because these people try to control you and that's not okay. A healthy relationship has freedom. You need to be confident enough to give freedom. They need to be confident enough to give freedom. If that's not happening, there is dysfunction and that dysfunction needs to be addressed. If you are the one who's being controlling and insecure, you need to change that. If you're in a relationship with somebody who is controlling and insecure, you need to change that. How to cope with someone that self-destructs and tears you down because of mental health issues? You leave the relationship. No one has a right to make you a lightning rod because they are not addressing their own mental health. No one has a right to make you a lightning rod for what they are not fixing within themselves. Your boundary is I will not be in a relationship with somebody who doesn't manage their mental health and vomits on me. It has to stop. So either they stop or you go. You're welcome. Thoughts on taking space uh, during arguments. I don't like lots of time away mid conversation. Boyfriend does. Uh, taking space is good. Your, your ego doesn't like it to stop because you want resolution. And the resolution you want is for things to turn out the way you want them to. You need to let him take his space because neither of you are being functional and constructive. You need to cool down. You need to think. You need to think about your three-part apology. There's something in there that you should be taking responsibility for. It always takes two to tango. If there was something going wrong, what is your part in this? Construct your three-part apology so that when the two of you come back together, that is your opening line. Get fix that shit, by the way, so that you guys stop having conflict. My girlfriend cheated on three of her five last boyfriends. Should I trust her to not cheat? Uh, did she cheat with you? Did, was she in a relationship and then she cheated with you? Because if she'll cheat with you, she's likely to cheat on you. But if she was single when you met her, there's many reasons why she could have cheated in those past relationships. Maybe she chose douchebags. Maybe you're a douchebag. If you're a douchebag, she's probably going to cheat on you. But if you're not a douchebag, she's probably not. He tells me I'm jealous even when I'm not. His assumptions cause fights. Does he want me jealous? 
He wants a lightning rod. He wants that fight. He wants to unleash an overabundance of stress, fear, or anxiety inside of him. He wants to create conflict so that he can blame you for conflict. So you're going to get fixed that shit. You're going to get no more assholes or you're going to get a coaching session. But you're going to figure out if he's a selfish short-term thinker first. If he's a selfish short-term thinker, by the way, you're going to find out through the 12 character traits in no more assholes, he needs to get at least a 9 out of 12. If he's a selfish short-term thinker, dump the motherfucker because there's no point trying to fix this in a relationship with somebody who's a selfish short-term thinker. You can only make things better with a generous long-term thinker. How do I how do I communicate better with my boyfriend who is way more introverted and shy without being overbearing? You're going to get fix that shit. You're going to do what's in that book. You're going to create emotional security in your relationship so that he feels like this relationship is a safe space. Men who feel emotionally secure start to talk more, start to show more emotion, start to want to spend more time with you. My boyfriend is in university and works full time. There's no time for us. How do I be supportive while feeling alone? Uh, if this relationship isn't right for you because you need more time with somebody who doesn't have time, exit the relationship. Um, but the way to be supportive is to manage your own emotions, right? So what are you going to do to fill your time up? You're feeling alone because you're not with people. So get with people in any way that you can, right? Like, like join some kind of an organization that's busy doing things for other people and get busy. You know, you're going to have communications. You're going to have meetings. You're going to have tasks that are going to set you out to go do things with other people. This can be your socializing that keeps you from being alone because you're looking to your partner going, satisfy my social time. Um, so this is something that you can do is, is satisfy yourself, satisfy your need to have social time with people instead of feeling alone because you're not getting social time with him. And that's how you support him. You support him by being happy. Once a liar, always a liar. No, we all lie. We all lie. Lying is part of our DNA. It is encoded into the human being. Um, but I mean, if he, if seriously, if he lies about hanging out with other girls, dump the motherfucker. Uh, my friend's boyfriend deletes DMs on Insta before she comes over. Is this a bad sign? Well, he's hiding something. So is he hiding because it's innocent, but she's going to find something that she's going to turn into not innocent and cause a fight? Or is he hiding things like talking to other girls and flirting with them? You're so welcome. So for the drinking, if you need to get a coaching session um, to work through this and clarify this and figure out a plan, come get a coaching session. Love your outfit. Thank you. Uh, how to react positively if your boyfriend asks for space? Uh, you're going to say, okay, baby, no problem. I understand. Now, just to clarify, what exactly does this mean? Because, you know, I, like space is such a vague word. Does that mean like not talking for a week? Does that mean not seeing each other for a week, but still texting? How many times a day would we be texting? I just need to understand what space needs because sometimes people say space, but it's actually a breakup. And I just need to understand what exactly this definition is. He doesn't make eye contact when he cry, even hides and dismisses my feelings. Should I leave? I don't know if you're with a generous long-term thinker or a selfish short-term thinker. Maybe he just doesn't know how to deal with your feelings. Maybe you don't know how to instruct him on how to comfort you, uh, right? There's a lot of variables with that. So if you want me to understand in your situation what the best advice would be, uh, get a coaching session or you can get fixed that shit, learn how to manage and deal with your emotions understand how to help him help you through your emotions when you need that. Uh, I just ordered fix that shit and custom made my love. 
Love, love. I'm going to try the skincare products. Yes, Cocoon Apothecary. Uh, this guy I was talking to you said he wanted me to hit on other girls, body shame me, and doesn't text me. And then you asked, do I block him? You tell me. What do you think? You tell me. We want to know. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna watch for your answer. Should you block him? My boyfriend had a one year affair four years ago, and I'm still resentful and untrusting. Am I the problem? You are you are vomiting. Uh, you are vomiting into the relationship. If that was four years ago, that means it's currently not happening. Um, so if if he's trying to you know, be a good partner and you keep going back to block him. Good girl. Good girl. Keep blocking people like that. Get no more assholes, my love. Understand what you need to get with. Uh, so... Right, 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 right. Uh, affair four years ago, still resentful and untrusting. If he has changed and you keep vomiting the past into the relationship, come get a coaching session so I can help you through this. Is it wrong to not want to date someone because you slept with so many people and I haven't? This is your choice, right? There's like, you know, listen, if, if that's all he's done that rubs you wrong, but he's somebody super amazing, you're missing out is all I can say. But if he's done that and he's super amazing, but you can't get off that and you vomit that constantly into the relationship, he will break up with you and he will have a good reason to do so because you can't see him for who he is and you can't be in the moment and your insecurity continues to vomit itself into the relationship. Boyfriend said he doesn't love me anymore, but still wants to stay in the relationship. Goodbye, motherfucker. What he's basically saying is, I don't love you, but I still want to plug it. So no, goodbye. Thank you, but goodbye. I'm going to go find somebody who loves me. I keep getting friend zoned. What should I do? So there's... um. There is there is a, a TikTok that someone made. I really want to use this. Um, this girl, she said, you know, guys keep talking about getting friend zone. They don't understand what it's like for a woman to realize that somebody who said they were a friend were never our friend. They were just waiting to fuck us. So let me tell you, if you get friend zone, that's an honor. If she actually includes you in her life, that's an honor. For us to let you in our lives and actually include you in our friend circle is an honor. It's never something to talk down about. You don't like it because you want it to fuck her. So let's just get clear on that. And if you're going to be a fake friend because you're just going to be a periphery person just because you want to get with her, pull back. But if you're going to be a genuine friend and be okay with being a genuine friend, Maybe one day she'll fall in love with you. What do I do if I feel like I'm not in this marriage anymore mentally? Don't want to leave and regret. Come get a coaching session. Is it a bad thing when a guy you started talking to takes notes, uh, uh, takes notes but shows you he's taking notes? No, it's fine. Uh, when they don't want to label a relationship but have been with me for six months. Oh, my love. Oh, my love. Oh, my love. You just played the hoping game and you played it long and you played it hard. Oh, it's time for you to get out of this. Do you not want a relationship? What are you doing wasting time with somebody who says they don't want a relationship? Why are you playing the hoping game? Stop. Let him go. Cut him off. Get no more assholes immediately and start doing what's in this book. Immediately, my love. How do I respond to husband's explosive anger? Ex ignore or explode back when I can't deal. Um, so option number three, uh, refuse to put up with it. Option number three is refuse to put up with it. 
you need to go get help for your anger. If you continue to have this explosive anger around me, I will leave because I will not put up with this. If you don't learn how to deal with your emotions and deal with your behaviors, you do not get to be in a relationship with me. Don't be reactive, be calm, be smart, be in control of yourself, model the behavior you want him to exhibit, which is in control of yourself. It's not fair to ask for anything you're not willing to do first, right? You want him to be in control of himself, be in control of yourself. Don't be explosive and think that's going to help anything. You're not modeling the behavior that you want, which means you're not being fair. Be in control of yourself. Insist he be in control of himself. Leave the motherfucker who won't. Date one went amazing. He says we're going for ice cream on date two. Okay. Update from yesterday. I told my boy about my STI and it went great. I'll love exactly. Just, just be scientific about it. Just be factual. I blocked someone who only wanted the kitty cat. Uh, and I had feelings for it because the way they treated me. I'm proud of myself. Good girl. Good girl. Ooh, we got standards. We got standards. We say no. Hello, my loves. Uh, don't forget, you guys, go follow me on Instagram. Did I freeze? I feel like something froze. Am I okay? Are we frozen? Because nothing's moving here right now. What's happening? There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. We're back. Um, guys, uh, do go on Instagram and follow me on Instagram because I'm doing a giveaway soon for a one hour coaching session. So go take advantage of that. Go, we good? <laughs> so go, go take part in my, my giveaway. Yes. I can't see you moving. I did freeze. I know what happened. Um, go follow me on Instagram. You guys like go do that right now and then go take a look at that, uh, giveaway box. Go follow the instructions, take part in the giveaway because we're doing the draw on the 15th for the one hour coaching session. Um, also, I make Instagram really interesting. We do like a daily post. They're always like informative, um, gets you thinking. Is it normal to lose chemistry in the first six weeks of dating? Uh, so chemistry should be increasing over time, but I would give it three months using no kissing for three months dating rule. Um, right. As like, as long as they're, they're fine, they're good people, they're sweet, they're kind, they're generous, they're thoughtful, they show up, they don't cancel. Um, they're consistent, right? Give it time to create a slow burn. See if something happens. Uh, guys, who wants a notification when I go live? Say, I do. If a guy asks for pics before they get to know you, only text you when they want pics. My love, come come get no more assholes or come get a coaching session because they like you just don't understand. You just don't understand what you should be uh wanting from somebody, like what the standard should be, what respect is. I do those of you who want a notification when I go live, click my picture up here once or twice. You're gonna get a pop-up, and the pop-up is a bell. Click on that bell when you do that. Say I just did. I do. My boyfriend says he's scared to go back to a long distance in September and thinks we should break up. If that's what he wants, then you give it to him. Don't try to stay in a relationship with somebody who's walking away from you. Uh, don't try to stay in a relationship with somebody who's walking away from you. This is going to waste your time. Um, because here's the thing. If he doesn't want to do long distance is because he knows when he goes to school, He's going to want to play with the girls at school. You trying to keep him in a relationship is you prolonging what is ultimately going to happen. Him playing with other girls at school. He's telling you now, this is what I want to do. Let him go. Save yourself the heartache of being in a relationship and then being broken up with. 
because he wants to go play with someone else. My husband is a good, hardworking man. Sometimes he tends to be immature in some areas. Advice? Um, advice. So, uh, it depends. I don't know what he's immature in. Um, Loopsy, Loopsy, do you want to come live with me? I don't, I want a book, but I don't know which is the best one. I made a what book is right for you quiz. It's in the link tree in my bio. Uh, go find it. Go find the what book is right for you quiz. Go take the quiz. It's really super fast. It's 20 questions, yes or no. And then it shows all my books and it gives you this really cute little like percentage graph beside each one to let you know uh, which one you want to read and in what order and how bad you want to read it. Can you do the no kissing rule after you've already kissed someone? Well, no, because like you've already kissed, which means you didn't do the no kissing rule. You've already created that chemical that puts you in, in a place where you're committed. Um, now that you've already kissed them, are you going to go out and date other people? Boyfriend broke up with me a few weeks ago and recently I kissed this guy and he found out, but we aren't together. So you aren't together. So if he comes and vomits on you, say, that's not fair. You broke up with me. You don't have the right to come here and try and make me feel bad because I'm living my life. And block him if that's what he's trying to do. He doesn't have the right to come and interfere with your happiness. My thoughts on partners with different religious beliefs, uh, that's totally fine, nothing wrong with that, as long as you respect each other. So, you know, if, if, if one person is trying to change the other person, they're not respecting the other person's autonomy. You can each have your own beliefs and respect each other's beliefs. Is a month too late to wait for a second date, even though he says he's interested and we're going for ice cream? He's busy. He's running a successful business. So is my husband, uh, you know, but but when my husband, you know, listen, he was coming to see me once a week. This busy man was putting aside a few hours on Wednesday night to spend time with me. So no a month is too long. By the way, why are you waiting for somebody? Use a no kissing for three months dating rule. That means I'm going to I'm going to get to know you, I'm going to get to know you, I'm going to get to know you simultaneously. Why does it have to be one person at a time? Why is it that when you're talking, by the way, talking is talking. Talking is not kissing and having sex. So why can you only talk to one person at a time? That's bullshit. Say, okay, fine, month, no problem. Look for other people. You don't have to block him. You don't have to stop talking to him, but you can talk to other people at the same time because you're not committed because talking is talking. You're not occupying your mouth with kissing and sex. Uh, I do have one audio book. It is Fix That Shit. You can find that in the link tree in my bio. Talking to someone who I dated 13 years ago for six years, should I do the three month no kissing? Yeah, because people can change in 13 years. So get to know who they are now. You're welcome. Boyfriend of four years feels like he needs to leave because relationship doesn't feel the same as beginning. Let him go. Let him go. That's whatever. Whatever you want to go, go. That's fine. Uh, is that my mom? Is that my mom named Karen? Looks like I got to block somebody. We just got into a fight and I yelled and hit the wall. He didn't say anything at all. Uh, get fixed that shit, my love. And, and fix that. That's that's nothing to be proud of. Uh, is your dating service only for women just because the book quiz uh, only questions referring to men? So my dating books right now are all geared towards women. Um, you can read my dating books as a man. You're just going to jimmy the language up a little bit in your mind, but you can follow all the advice in there as well. So fix that shit is how to uh, eliminate conflict in your relationship and have a relationship that has uh, zero fighting. Three months no kissing. How long do we wait before we do the deed? Three months. 
Like the, the three month no kissing rules, I'm not gonna commit to somebody that I don't know. I need to know you at least three months before we commit to a relationship. You can you can do the deed anytime after that, like that day, you know what I mean? How do you know when it's time to leave a marriage if they are abusive? That's if they are abusive, if you are indifferent, if you literally just don't like, like it's just like, hate is not the opposite of love, right? Uh, like an, an intense emotion is not the opposite of an intense emotion. Um, so it, it's, it's, you know, like I've hated my husband sometimes, but it's because I love him. Um, indifference. I just, I don't, I don't care about you. I don't care about you. I don't care to be with you. The thought of being with them, staying with them just makes you feel like you're, you, you just, oh, uh, like I just don't want to, right? Get an assessment if you need to, uh, come get a coaching session so that I, I can take a look at your relationship, give you some advice if you need that, get, give you some clarity if you need it. Uh, I want my boyfriend to smile and hug me when he comes home after work. How do I tell him? Why not just do it, right? Don't demand show never demand you guys it's not fair to ask for anything you're not willing to do first that's my number one relationship rule so don't go to him and demand he smile and give you a hug go to him and smile and give him a hug and it, here's the thing my love don't just make it a hug you need to get two kisses in a day minimum five seconds each i repeat Two kisses a day, minimum five seconds each. When he comes home, this is what he needs to hear. Hey, baby, wherever you are in the house. Hey, baby. And then go meet him at the door. Put your arms around him and plant a kiss on his lips that lasts a minimum of five seconds. Do this every single day. Before you guys say goodbye, I chase my husband down. He does not get out that door without me planting one on his lips for a minimum of five seconds. I, I will tackle him before he gets out that door without that kiss. So twice a day, get those, get those kisses in, minimum five seconds each. Book walkthrough for the newbies. Who wants a book walkthrough? Wrong to talk to other people if we're broken up. You're not together, you're single. You're single, of course you need to talk to other people. We're still talking about, I don't know if we're working it out. You're not together. If you're not together, you are single. Who wants a book walk through? I do the same with my wife, love it. Book walk through. My boyfriend is still under his parents' thumb and he's 26 advice, leave this relationship. Best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. He's a child still. Uh, I do it every time. Sometimes I just want him to do it. Just go do it. Stop keeping score. Relationships are not where you keep score. Don't keep score. Thank you for the gift. Thank you for the flowers. Don't keep score in a relationship. This is what makes it unhealthy. When you stand back and, and you score keep, I'm gonna keep score how many times I kiss you versus how many times you kiss me. And then you stand back. And then he doesn't come because he's not picking up on the fact that you're scorekeeping. So he doesn't come and give you the kiss. And then you get resentful because he didn't come and give you a kiss. And now these, listen, you know you pick up on how people feel. You'll be in a room full of people and somebody walks in, you go, ooh, I don't know. Like they didn't even talk to you and you just, you know, there's something about them, right? That's because of the vibration, the frequency coming off of them. You can be in a room full of people and somebody walks in, you go, ooh. Oh, there's something about that person. That's the frequency. When you put yourself into a negative frequency because you're scorekeeping, you start to stink. Negative frequencies are like BO. Nobody wants to be around somebody with BO. So don't scorekeep and put yourself in a negative state because you were scorekeeping. Go give him the kisses and the hugs that you want. Don't stand back and insist that he reads your mind or, or, or don't say, like you, you can say, like do a love language quiz together, right? Because maybe your love language is physical affection and he needs to, he needs to understand how high up physical affection is for you in terms of you taking that as love. So do the love language quiz together at the same time. 
And when he sees how important it is to you, explain to him ways that he can exercise that. Uh, my boyfriend's first instinct in an argument is to pretend he doesn't care if we break up red flag. How about you guys just stop having arguments? We'd fix that shit. Uh, unless he's a, you guys just stop having arguments, we'd fix that shit. Uh, unless he's a, a selfish short-term thinker, in which case dump the motherfucker and get in a relationship with a generous long-term thinker. Love the outfit. The color makes your skin pop and it looks great on you. Thank you. Thank you, lovely. I was excited about this dress. I was excited about this dress. I couldn't wait for this dress to come. It's so pretty. Uh, where can I find the love language quiz? There's a link to that in the link tree in my bio. Uh, guys, those of you who want to get my books, you can get them on Amazon or anywhere you buy books online. If you want an audio book, you can get Fix That Shit only through the link tree in my bio. I have eight books. So if you want to know where to start, go take the what book is right for me quiz in the link tree in my bio. You're so welcome. Off and on relationship. I wanted to stay one way. How should I go about it? Uh, so it's on and off because <laughs> summer goddess it's on and off um, because of the conflict right so remove the conflict so either come get coaching or get into fix that shit and get the conflict out so that you guys stop going through this uh what dating 101 is about dating 101 is a textbook this is the book that i wrote to get into schools there's no swearing in this book uh, so this is the one to get into schools. This is understanding the drives, behaviors, and emotions behind love. If you guys were to read this young enough, you might never even need no more assholes. He stays late at work with his ex. She texts him constantly and I feel like I'm second place to her. Uh, so are, are these conversations necessary, right? Um, you know, that's, I, I would suggest you come get a coaching session so that I can get more details and help, you know, you clarify on, on this, get the right perspective, um, see how you can work through your emotions if necessary. You're welcome, my loves. Book walk through. Okay, give me a second. Da, 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 da. I love all your dresses. Yogurt always so adorable. <laughs> what the? Oh, you were always so adorable. What? <laughs> that was so funny. Yogurt always so adorable. That was so cute. Did you do that on purpose? Because that was really super cute. Uh okay guys book walk through there are eight of my books i'm gonna do this super quick okay hang tight i'm gonna do this really quick come back clean this is a book that helps you get over a break up if your heart is hurting come back clean is going to help you heal it no more assholes is the book that helps you make sure you pick the right partner next time no more selfish short-term thinkers you need to get with a generous long-term thinker after the first kiss is the book you read once you get with your generous long-term thinker this helps you transition from courtship into reality without going through an insecurity phase. Fix that shit. This is the book that's going to get all, I want to say all, I mean all, all the fighting out of your relationship. Guys, it is magical when you get the fighting out of your relationship. Five years, not a single fight. I know what I'm talking about. It gets real good. Uh, custom made is the book that helps you understand what your purpose is this and this is steak and fine wine because if you are codependent 
you need to know what your purpose is because you are making your partner your purpose. So this is going to teach you how to have a healthy relationship. This is going to teach you where to divert your attention to your purpose. I answered two questions in here. What is my purpose and how do I monetize it? Every chapter ends with exercises. I get you digging deep with this one. Dating 101 is a textbook. This is understanding the drives, behaviors, and emotions behind love. Fake love need not apply because y'all stayed this long. You get a free book. This one is a free ebook. If you hit the free book button in the link tree in my bio, also there's worksheets in there for you. I got worksheets for singles, worksheets for couples. They're going to help you level up. Uh, Say Yes to Goodness is about life. All these other books were how to have a happy relationship. This is how to have a happy life. 10 areas of your life that affect you, how to have the right perspective so that you navigate it properly. La la la. I do not know what all this is about. Fighting does not need to happen at all. I'm going to need that comeback queen book. Lovely. Amazing. Thank you. Can you trust someone after cheating, even if they've proven to you for a year that they are loyal? So, I mean, I think I could if they've proven that they're loyal, right? You use the word proven, proven that they're loyal. So the only thing that's keeping you from trusting them is your own imagination and your own insecurity. So if you need to come to a place where you can trust them, come get some coaching. How can I stop thinking about the men that didn't want to date me? I'm currently in a relationship. Uh, come get coaching, my love. We need to dig into your head and come up with your your journey. Uh, when it comes to dealing with an individual thing for you, uh, we, we need to find out what's going on so that we can undo what's going on. I'm doing the 100 day of gratitude on day 10, but stumped. Dig deep, dig deep, dig deep. This is what's going to change your brain structure. Get it done, my love. Get it done. Don't just stop because it, it got hard. Don't just stop because it got hard. Power through this exercise. Find three things that you're grateful for. My boyfriend stayed friends with almost all exes and friends with benefits from his past. I'm uncomfortable, but trust him. Uh, how much is coaching? Go check out the options. So go to my bio, click on the link tree. There's a coaching button there. Go take a look, see what fits you. Any advice for an any guy to introduce his non-Indian girlfriend to his conservative parents? Uh, you're going to have a conversation with your parents and you're going to say, what are the characteristics of the woman that you want for me? I mean, other than having brown skin and, and being a traditional Indian woman, like what are the characteristics? What are the qualities? What are the traits? What's the personality? Um, and, you know, because ultimately at the end of the day, that's what should matter, right? Like, would they want you to be with a traditional girl who treats you shitty or with a non-traditional girl who treats you well? Also make sure that the girl you choose is not going to put down your culture because your parents need to accept her. Therefore, she needs to feel respectful to them. So make sure she is respectful. So make sure she has the character, the traits, the qualities, the personality, and the respect that they would want. And that will facilitate it because that's your argument. Look, mom and dad, sure, she's not traditional, but she's everything you want me to be with. Uh, my boyfriend is obsessed with his ex-wife. If I screenshot her Facebook profile pic, keeping it, should I be worried? 
when did he do that? If that's re if that's old, no. If it's recent, um, yeah. As you said, that's a boyfriend. I would I I wouldn't be in a relationship with somebody who's still so hung up on someone else. Like if he's done this while you guys are in a relationship, I'd move on. After a disagreement, he will brood for days even after I've apologized. Is there a way to address? Yes, you need to get fix that shit and do everything that's in that book. This is going to put an end to the disagreements. If guys, there's there's the symptom and there's the sickness, right? So the reaction to the disagreements are the symptoms. Instead of just addressing the symptoms and not addressing the sickness, get to the sickness so that the symptoms go away. So remove the conflict and you won't have to talk about how they deal with conflict. How can, can we access your book for free? So I have one free book which is uh, this one here, Fake Love Me Not Apply. You can get that by hitting the free book button in the link tree in my bio. You don't have to have money to access what I teach. I have over 3,000 TikToks. I have a YouTube channel with tons of videos. I have a podcast with tons of episodes. I have a free book that I just mentioned. So take the time, go through my content, take my advice, apply what I say, don't just listen to it and not do it, um, and you will get results. There are plenty of people who only go by my free content who message me and say, you have been life-changing for me. So if you're willing to do the work, you will get the results. You don't need to pay the money for it. If you want a fast track to your plan, then you get a coaching session, but you don't need to be able to afford a coaching session to get the help that you want. So uh, how much for all my books? It depends on where you buy them from. It depends what format you get it. Um, if you're Canadian right now, my books are on sale. Like, like several of my books are on sale on Amazon. So I, I, it all, it all depends. I would say go, go root around, go fish around. Um, guys, just so you know, uh, just so you know, um, I also have a free guide for long distance relationships in the link tree in my bio. So you guys can go download that too. I see a bunch of people just went and got themselves a free book. A top coach in her craft. Yes, worth every... Worth the money, yes indeed. Is Fix Session an audiobook on Audible? Not on Audible, but you can get it through the link tree in my bio. My ebooks are super affordable, yes. Is it weird he wants to put an effort to remain friends with all the women from his past? Um some people are like that's just how they are uh does he keep them around his ego strokes i don't know i don't know if you want me to understand and uh you know like unpack the situation and help clarify if you should stay or go come get a coaching session um anybody who needs clarity in their situation uh go to my bio click on the link tree and uh, there's a coaching button in there. Click that button. Follow the instructions to book yourself in for a session. Uh, I shop at Le Chateau. Le Chateau, you guys. Uh, big, big sale. Um, sign up for their mailing list. Um, sign up for their mailing list because every few weeks they're going to send you an email saying that you can get five items for like 40% off or 50% off and then just go like bananas in your size. I'm really lucky in that, um, you know, when they show the small size on somebody, like I'm extra small and I see how it fits and that fits me. 
So uh, I just, if I like how the girl looks in the picture with that outfit, I know I'm gonna like it just as much on me. So it makes it really super easy for me to shop. They're very consistent with their sizing. How to not let anxiety uh, get to you. You're gonna start, uh, get into your relationship. So I really do suggest you get coaching um, for the nuances for that, but you can get fix that shit or after the first kiss for the instructions on how to do it. What are signs that their ego strokes if they're flirting at all? Uh, if there's any flirting, then that's an ego stroke. Girlfriend wants to take a break, what do I do? You, you give it to her, you say, okay, so just so we understand, a break is a break up, that means we are single. Never stay in limbo. Don't ever let anybody keep you in limbo. You're such an amazing person. I love hu your humility and eloquence. Thank you, my love. Thank you. We all have a journey to take for sure. <clears throat> <coughs> Guys, I have to go. It's time. It's time for me to go. Do do exclusive dating coaching or life coaching as well. I am a life coach. I niche in dating and relationships, but I can coach family matters. I can coach you how to start your business. I can coach you how to navigate through your business. Um, there's somebody recently hired me to coach her on how to be more successful and use social media with her business. So if, if you see me killing it, uh, I can teach you how to do it. So I can coach you on writing books. I can coach you on creating your own platform. I can coach you on how to navigate family issues, relationships, relationship with yourself, self-love. Um, so, you know, whatever you need help with, if you're not sure if I can help you with it, you can send me the question, like say, hey, I'm thinking about getting coaching. Do you think you can help me with this? Um, if you're not sure, because I don't do refunds, like every coaching session needs to be pre-purchased and you have to be sure that you're ready to take a leap of faith um, because I don't, I don't waste time with refunds. Uh, my time is way too precious, but um, you know, so you need to be sure before you come to me because I'm not playing around with anybody. Um, but if you feel like you're ready to advance in something, but you're just not sure if this is up my alley, Send me the question first, and and if I say, yeah, I can help you with it, come get your coaching. So, my loves, uh, those of you who want a notification when I go live, click my picture up here once or twice. You're going to get a pop-up, and the pop-up is a bell. Click on the bell when you do that. Say, I just did. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram because the coaching giveaway is coming up very soon. I'm giving away a one-hour coaching session. Buenas noches. Thank you, my love. Excellent. Thank you. You're so welcome, my love. You are so welcome. Waiting for my ideas. We did an hour tonight and it's so fast. I know I have fun doing this because time really goes by so quickly. So, so quickly. Uh, for the moment, uh, how do you, how can you tell if the guy you're dating is for the moment or dating to marry? Use a no kissing, no sleepovers for three months dating role. If he's not serious, he's not hanging around. If he's not serious, he's not hanging around. Okay, my loves. Good night. I will see you soon. You know I don't stay away for long. I love and appreciate all your info and advice that you give us on here. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, my love. So much love for you.